welcome to another edition of East Side Story. I'm Autumn Nash. And I'm Tiffany Pruitt. Congratulations to the football team for their super season and for being state runners-up in Class 2A. We would like to also congratulate the girls and guys basketball team for their victory over North Bullet Saturday. The music department will be going on a, to the local elementary schools and middle school over the next two weeks to present their Christmas concerts. Their public concert will be December 15th at 7 p.m. at Old Mill Elementary School. The choir will be performing at Jefferson Mall December 12th at 5 p.m. The Y Club is Christmas caroling at the People's Bank of Mount Washington Friday from 4 to 5. Also, congratulations goes out to our chess team for their 4-1 victory over New Albany High School last Thursday. The team's record is now 2-0. This Thursday, the chess team will be playing Moore High School. The team members who have won their games are Kenneth Salings, Rocky Bezignac, Troy McDonald, Jeremy Whitehouse, and Greg Shockley. Congratulations, guys. Today we will be covering a topic that concerns all of us, the zero tolerance tardy policy. You'll get to see the tardy procedure firsthand, and you'll get to see Mr. Manier in a whole new light. Now to stay sure for our story. We've all heard the horror stories about what happens when you're late to class. But what is the real story? In order to find this out, Eastside Story has arranged a situation in which a student will be late to class. We will follow them with a camera and see what happens from the time the first bell rings until they are picked up and taken to the holding area. So watch to find out what happens when you're late to class. Thank you. 
My God! My God! Help, guys! Help me! Help! 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 Hello, I'm Stacia Payton, and today we're here with Mr. Muneer. He is our assistant principal and is plays a large role in the zero tolerance to tardy policy. Mr. Manier, once you're caught in the hall without a pass, what happens? Well, if we could, I'd like to back up and maybe define the zero tolerance tardy policy. Uh, basically, uh, the policy is, uh, is is an attempt to reduce the num the traffic in the hallway immediately after the bell sounds. And uh, this policy was adopted last year. Uh, the discipline review committee presented this to site base. Uh, site base uh, decided to go with this, so we adopted the policy. Um, and uh, Mr. Bentley and I happened to be the two people that enforced the policy more so than had decided the policy. Um, zero tardy tolerance really is stating that we don't accept tardies, period. And some of the better schools uh, in this area have adopted that policy, and we definitely want to be one of the better schools. We have found that zero tardy tolerance has drastically reduced our numbers of tardies. And uh, we find that uh, we, in fact, have students in class more, not less. Um, the cycle goes like this. A person has three tardies. They have detention after school. They don't serve the detention. They get a second detention. They don't serve the detention. They have ISAP, and so on. So that it's broken down to be an immediate reinforcer as opposed to having this thing string out and have a student have two, three ISAPs uh, and have students in ISAP as opposed to class. So the attempt is to try to get students to class, not to keep them out of class. Sorry, your, next, your first question was? It was, once you're caught in the hall without a hall pass, what happens? Okay, if you're in the hall without a hall pass after the bell sounds, Basically what we do is we ask the student uh, to go ahead and go to the holding area. Sometimes the holding area will be the cafeteria, sometimes the ISAP room. Um, and basically that's for students that are in the hall after the bell without permission from a staff member. Um, what roles do you have in the holding room? Uh, the rules in the holding room are such that uh, we attempt to have a, uh, a quiet study atmosphere. Uh, in other words, we have students, we try to have students uh, sit at a table by themselves if they're in the cafeteria or one of the ISAP booths and uh, have an opportunity to use that time positively for study. Uh, we try to stay away from the uh, uh, open talking, um, open communication, um, and it's not meant to be a place to go to socialize. Uh, it's an attempt to provide the next best thing, a quiet study area. Okay. Approximately how many students do you have in the holding? It's been, uh, at, up to this point, it's been very successful. Um, if you were here last year, you know we had an enormous number of people in the hallways towards the end of school. Uh, at this point, I would say the average number of people in holding, the average number ranges from probably six to 12 people. When you, when you deal with uh, 760 or so students, that's a very small percentage, as opposed to the number that were in the hallway last year. Our largest numbers have been up around 40, and that has occurred uh, several times towards the end of the day. Overall, do you feel that this has been a successful policy? I think it's an attempt to correct a problem. Do I think it's a perfect solution? No. Do I think it's a better situation? Yes. Our classroom teachers like it because uh, we're not being interrupted. Uh, and uh, once again, people are, uh, are getting an immediate reinforcer that, uh, that we really don't want this. We want you in class. We don't want you in the hallway between classes or after the bell. We want you in class at, at the right time. After all, uh, being on time is, uh, is an important part of education and employability. Are there any exceptions, Mayor? Of course. Of course. There's always exceptions, and uh, we try to do the fair thing, not the same thing. Okay. Well, thank you.
you very much for the interview. Well, you're very welcome, and anytime you have a question, feel free to come in. Thank you. Sir, yes. Do you have a pen I can borrow? Um, yeah. Yeah, let me get it. That's nothing. Let's see, I think I have one. Uh, let me check here. Oh, yes, here it is. We would like to thank Mr. Muneer for his cooperation in the production of our feature story and thank all of you for joining us. Have a nice day and see you next week.